Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we're going to look at Cigar Party from Logic One, and this is the Python solution. Now, you know, it's always funny when this question comes up um, because it's about squirrels smoking cigars, and I think it's important that I say that um, smoking is a really bad habit. So in no way does this problem endorse the smoking of cigars. All right, with that, let's dive in. When squirrels get together for a party, they like to have cigars. A squirrel party is successful when the number of cigars is between 40 and 60 inclusive, unless it is the weekend, in which case there is no upper bound on the number of cigars. Return true if, if the party with the given value is successful, or false otherwise. And we can look at our examples here, and we see that we have 30 cigars, and it is not the weekend, so we're not successful. And we can see that right up here, we can see to be successful on during the week, you have to smoke between 40 and 60 inclusive. And on the weekend, you just have to smoke more than 40. So here we have 50, it's not the weekend, and we've had a successful party because we're within that range. In this final example, we have 70 cigars, we see it is the weekend, and therefore we're successful because it can be greater than this 60 range. So really what this problem is, is a simple if statement with a return inside. So what's going to happen is we're going to write some if statement and then check if it's not the weekend and make some return statement. Otherwise, we're going to return this, the condition if it is the weekend. So let's start with that. What if it is the weekend? Well, if it's the weekend, all I'm going to return is cigars is greater than or equal to 40. So basically, we're just going to check this Boolean condition or this Boolean expression. If cigars is greater than or equal to 40, in which case it's been a good party because we have no upper bound. And I hit go, and I get most of them right. Now, of course, I get this situation wrong, because here you see I smoked 61 cigars, and well, the party has had 61 cigars, and it is not the weekend, meaning that we've gone above that upper bound. So what we do is we put that simple if statement right here. We're going to say if is weekend is equivalent to false, meaning if it's not the weekend. And now we're going to return, well, we're going to return cigars is greater than or equal to 40, because we have to have more, more than 40 inclusive and cigars is less than or equal to 60. And I hit go, and there it is. So see how this is just a really nice problem where we have an if statement with the return statement inside, and otherwise we modify that. And this is a nice example of how we can evaluate a Boolean expression in a return statement to get that value. All right, so let's wrap up with one little Python-specific thing here. Now, often when I see students try and do this problem, they actually they think about it as a mathematics student, and they'll write this. They'll write, uh, what's a better way to do this? Let's just do it right here. So they're going to do something like in math, they'll say, we can, we can write this statement as 40 is less than or equal to cigars, which is less than or equal to 60. And you know this statement here is exactly the same as this. And it turns out, in Python, you can actually write that which is a nice little feature here. Now, why am I showing this to you? I'm showing this to you because I really want to show that this works in Python, but I want you to be aware that this doesn't work in most other languages. Most other languages, you have to write out the expression like this with this AND operator in between. And with that, I hope this video helped. Have a wonderful day. And again, I can't stress enough, you shouldn't be smoking. Take care.